Your family is driving from Los Angeles to San Francisco at 60 miles per hour. Draw a graph showing how far you are from Los Angeles over time. In the last hour of the ride, your family sped up to 80 miles per hour. Would the slope of the graph be higher or lower during the last hour? Well, let's graph it. I'm going to use time as my x-axis. Time is usually on the x-axis and distance will be on the y-axis. This will be miles. And I'll mark this off. Yeah, I'm going to erase this here. I'm going to mark this off just using 60 as my increment. 180, 240, 300. So what we know is that, well this isn't perfectly straight, we'll still be able to see. At the beginning we've uh, traveled for zero hours and gone zero miles, so we start at the origin. After one hour we've gone 60 miles, two hours 120, three 180, you see how we have a straight line? But now in the fourth hour, or in the, the between hours three and four, it said we sped up to a speed of 80 miles an hour. When I do that, I have to add 80 to 180, which would give me 260, which would put me there. Now, as you could see, the slope of this last hour, which I'll color in red, is higher than the slope. Um, the, so, would the slope of the graph be higher or lower during the last hour? We could see the slope is steeper. That means that the slope is higher during the last hour. We're going a greater speed. The greater speed you're going, the higher your slope will be, the greater your slope will be.